What is a microtubule? A microtubule is made of tubulin and is also a component of the cytoskeleton and can be found throughout the cytoplasm. What is tubulin? Tubulin is a globular protein. It is a dimer that is composed of alpha tubulin and beta tubulin. What is the dynamic instability of microtubule? Microtubules can undergo rapid cycles of growth and shrinkage. What occurs during dynamic instability? During dynamic instability, both alpha and beta tubulin are bound to GTP. The GTP bound to alpha tubulin is for structure and will not be hydrolyzed. The GTP on beta tubulin will be hydrolyzed after it is added on to the microtubule. Growing and shrinking is determined by two things. Comparison between the tubulin dimers that are added on and the rate the GTP is hydrolyzed. It is also important to know that tubulin is added to the positive end. What is the GTP cap? The GTP cap is wherever a new tubulin dimer comes in. It will attach to the positive end. Rescue is when GTP will hydrolyze to GTP, which causes the microtubule to grow. What happens when the tubulin slows in binding to the GTP cap? Catastrophe occurs when the rate of new tubulin dimers being added slows down. The GTP on the GTP cap will eventually be hydrolyzed into GDP before a new tubulin dimer is added. When this happens, the microtubule comes apart. What is the relationship of the centrosome to the dynamic instability? Centrosomes anchor many microtubules to their surface using the gamma tubulin ring complex. As one microtubule grows or goes into rescue, another shrinks or goes into catastrophe. This is dynamic instability. The rate at which these shrinking and growing phases happen occurs at different rates and different times for all microtubules. What about cells that do not contain centrosomes like plant cells? Cells that do not contain centrosomes often contain free-floating microtubules. The microtubules go into what's called a treadmill effect, whereas one end, the positive end, goes into rescue, the negative end is continually in catastrophe. Tubulin that is attached at the positive end works its way down the line and is released at the negative end. How are the microtubule dynamics regulated? Microtubule dynamics are regulated within specific regions of a cell. For example, near the center of a cell, there are low probability of undergoing catastrophe and show persistent growth towards the cell's edges. Switching between growth and shortening is more frequent toward the edges of the cell in regions near the plasma membrane. If it were not regulated in this way, the cell's interior and its periphery, few microtubules would reach all the way to the edges.